Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a closer look at the relationship between the friction factor, the frictional head loss, and the term that goes into Bernoulli's equation that accounts for the additional work that we need, need to accomplish to overcome that frictional head loss. In other words, we have another pressure term, a change in the pressure, or delta P, because every term in Bernoulli's equation is indeed in terms of pressure, pascals, newtons per square meter. So how does that relate? Well, first of all, the friction factor can be expressed by this equation right here. Twice the diameter of the pipe divided by the density of the fluid, the velocity squared of the fluid, and the length of the pipe times the difference in the pressure caused by this additional frictional head loss. And then if we go back and get the equation for the frictional head loss, then we're going to take the friction, friction factor and substitute it in here to see what we end up with. So this becomes the frictional head loss is equal to F, which is equal to this, so that would be 2D times the change in the pressure divided by the density times velocity squared times L. So that's equal to this quantity right here that goes in right here. We multiply that times L times velocity squared divided by 2 times the diameter times G. Now we're going to have some fun by canceling out common terms. So here we have V squared and V squared. We have L and L, we have D and D, and 2 and 2, and let's see what that leaves us. So now we have the frictional head loss, which is equal to delta P, the change in the pressure, divided by G times the density. And then if we solve that for delta P, we can see that the change in the pressure caused by the frictional head loss is equal to G times delta. I guess we write delta first. So. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so the density, the density times G times the frictional head loss. And that's how we can see that this additional term added to account for the frictional head loss is therefore equivalent to the change in the pressure that it causes. The additional pressure required on this side in order to achieve that greater relative height, I should say. Not really relative height, but the greater apparent height that needs to be achieved by that frictional, by overcoming that frictional head loss. And that is how it's done.